It's considered the Oscars of Chinese language films, the Golden Horse Film Awards. This year's award ceremony saw an especially big turnout of celebrities on the red carpet as they gathered in Taipei to celebrate the award's 50th anniversary. Dressed in her finest, China's Zhang Ziyi won Best Actress for her role in Hong Kong director Wang Garwei's martial arts film, The Grand Master. The 34-year-old played the daughter of a martial arts master in northern China who sacrifices her personal happiness to seek revenge for her father's death. During the filming, it was quite hard work mentally, but the director Wang saved me really and allowed me to recognize what the work was all about. Taiwan's Li Kangsheng won the Best Actor Award for playing a homeless single father who struggles to raise his two children on the streets of Taipei in Stray Dogs. The film also helped Taiwan-based Malaysian director Tsai Mingliang win his second Golden Horse Best Director Award. This year, I saw so many of my idols. I feel like I've been growing up alongside them until today when I won this award. It's almost like a magic, but at the same time, it's not an easy task. But the best feature film went to a movie made outside of Greater China. The Singaporean social drama Ilo Ilo depicted the relationship between a Filipina maid and the Singaporean family she works for during the 1997 Asian recession. The film also won for Best New Director for Anthony Chen and Best Original Screenplay. But despite the congratulations and smiles, Chinese language films continue to face pressure from Hollywood. Some directors have had to wait years for enough funding to finish shooting their films. That has prompted Taiwan to recently suggest imposing a 5% tax on all cinema tickets to support the local movie industry. Cindy Su, BBC News, Taipei.